Good, great morning to everyone today. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing great today. Good to see you all here. I have a question here. Good questions, I always write them in my book and I speak them to you guys. Okay. All right, so this question now is about something that you need to learn to, to do because I can see how you can get confused and kind of uh, mess your own self up when you want to create your dreams, your goals, whatever it is that you want to bring into your life. You want to get better at health, better at your success, at your business, change your thoughts, be positive. You have to kind of know how stuff works. And this question is good. So look, whenever you want something, right? I mentioned before in a previous video, I said that you have to be able to see your dreams and your goals every day. You have to see them mentally, either mentally in the mind, or you have to be able to write or script them down physically. You have to you have to do something where your brain is constantly impressed with what you want, with what you want. You have to think about your dreams consistently, right? Because that's the way the universe and your mind know what you want. Now here is the balance. Now here's the question. Okay, someone says, "Hey, seeing your goals every day." contradicts with everything else you say about letting go so you have to see what you want and you have to let it go right okay so they say they ask the question said well it's common it says basically seeing seeing your dreams and goals every day contradicts with everything else you say about letting go because if you keep seeing it means you keep thinking about it which leads to doubt automatically what why it's not coming which leads to doubt which automatically says why it's not coming so do you understand so can anyone explain or do you understand what this is and how you can fix this so okay so I think this person that commented this they have the right idea but this is why it's good to teach and show you guys something you have the right idea but it's not exactly how it works. Okay, let's let's go into show you what it means. All right, good. All right, so the first thing we have to do, guys, whatever goals and dreams you want, you have to be able to see them. Okay, we know that. Then you got to be able to think about them. Then we got to be able to let them go. Okay, so it's basically saying, well, how can I see what I want and then let it go at the same time? Isn't letting go like forgetting about it? Not. See, this is where the misconception is, guys. Letting go of your dreams and your desires have nothing to do with you stop visualizing it, stop thinking about it, and stop seeing it every day. That's not the definition of letting it go, man. Okay? So I have to teach you what letting it go really means. Because this person thinks that if you let it go and you keep thinking about it, it's going to create doubts. Let me put this this way. If you are thinking about your dreams and your desires okay and while you're thinking about your dreams and desires you have doubts about them coming in you're not doing it the correct way it means number one you are trying and you're attempting to figure out how something comes to you so here's how you fix it let me give you the rules of the game Whenever you think about all your desires or whatever you want, the number one rule of the game is you never think about when and how it's going to come to you. Letting go is when you do not think of how or when it's going to come into your reality. That's letting it go, man. So that means I can visualize all day. I can think about my desires all day because I have no resistance because I don't care about when or how it's going to come. I know it must come. I'm expecting it. It has to come. So I don't care if it comes tomorrow, next week, next month. It's still going to come. So I, Okay, so what this individual uh, is going to understand now is that you are going to be in a state of resistance when you when you try to figure out how or when so what is letting go means people letting go means what it says, says forget about the outcome of how or when it's going to come to you letting go means that you've put the work in 
you've seen what you want, you're consistently seeing it, and you expect it, and you know it must arrive. It's so simple. Now you know. So I can go all day, I can think about whatever I want, because I don't create any resistance, because I'm not trying to figure out, when am I going to get my desires? Damn, I wonder which way it's going to come to me. But how can it come to me this way? I don't have that. How is it going to... That's going to lead to the doubt. See, the doubt of your own mind is what's preventing you from reaching your full potential. Let me tell you something about your mind that you must understand. Your conscious intellectual mind, it's a mind of activity. It's not a person. It's an activity. It's a play. It's a program. It's, it's conditioned. It's, it's, it's observation. You, you think your mind is a person. You think your mind is a, a thing. You think your mind is like you. It's not you. Your mind is like a computer. It's activity. Computers do activities. Activity is not a real person. So whatever's going on in your head about how and when, those are activity. Those are, those are observation from your mind on reality and past experiences. And it's giving you a best educated, calculated guess. So if you are following that activity, which is not true, then of course you're going to meet resistance. You're going to get a lot of what you don't want. All right, now, now, now is it making sense to you to see how this stuff works? Okay, the next thing I got to teach you to understand about this stuff, guys, is this. Is I want to put it in a very simplistic term so you can understand it and you can use it in your life. All right. So, the two things you need to learn about creating or changing your dream, your, your world, is these two things. You have to learn frequency, vibration, and beliefs. So, let me show you what I mean by that. When you were born, we each have what we call our default or our core state of vibration. Your core state is always going to follow you through your whole life. Each person's core state of vibration basically means their desires of what they want. So your vibration of whatever it is you want is going out. Whatever it is that you want exists already. So whatever that you want is looking to come to you because of your core vibration. What prevents you, because your vibration now goes to the frequency, so there's vibration and frequency. Frequency has the stuff you want. Vibration is the tool to get you to the frequency, okay? Makes it easy for you. So, okay, let's say you want to you want to you want to make your business better, you want a home or you want to start your business or make more profit in your business, whatever it is, okay? That's your core vibration because that's what you want to do. But you're not meeting the goals or the sales or whatever it is that you want to do, okay? So, you know what you do? Now because that's your vibration, but you're not getting it, right? So, what is preventing you from getting it? Your beliefs. See, all you have to do is match your belief with whatever it is what you want. You have to believe that whatever it is that you want is possible, number one. It can happen, number two. And it's going to come to you because you're putting out the frequency of the vibration to reach it. You gotta trust yourself, trust your vision, follow your intuition, and it will come to you. So once you do that, now you put yourself on the frequency to receive it. That makes sense, right? Now you see how it makes sense. Yep. So, and all of this ties into letting go. Letting go, again, I must repeat it because it's so important because people don't get this. Letting go is you getting out of the way and let your higher mind do its job. Letting go is you stepping back and it's not my job to figure out when or how I'm going to get whatever it is I want. I cannot do that. My mind isn't made for that. That goes into my subconscious mind. It puts everything together for me. When it's ready, mm -hmm. it's going to send me mm -hmm. the information. It's going to send me the means. Now it's going to send it to my logical mind, which will now perceive it, analyze it, make the judgment, make the call, take the inspired action, and bring it into my life. Someone asked me, how do you put yourself on that frequency? You put yourself on the frequency by building a new belief. 
So you build the belief by repetition, by thinking about what you want, by seeing it and visualizing it, by using ask formations about it, like what would my life look like with my business doing $50,000 annually? How would it make me feel to have such and such? And you do those repeatedly. That's going to build the belief. That's going to put you on the frequency. If you want to be on the frequency to whatever it is that you want, you number one, you have to see yourself having, doing, experiencing whatever you want. You got to see it. If you can't see it, you can't believe it. It's not going to happen. Okay? Now, here's the thing. That's what they tell you. You can't see it, can't believe it. But I'm here's what you do first. You build the belief first, then you will see it. When you believe it, you see it. So when you believe it, it's a thought process. Then you will see it as a physical thing in your reality. But the first thing is, you got to be able to believe it. And believe it basically means you have to see a mental image of you having and doing whatever it is that you want. And everyone can do this. You can see this in two ways. You can see it in your own mind. And for those who have aphantasia where they can't see images or visualize, they, you can also write it. Now, you can even take it. If you can't write it, you can practice feeling it. You can ask yourself a question like, what? How would it make me feel to have such and such? And a feeling will come up. Because your subconscious mind can't tell the difference between what is real or imagined. So if you say, hey, how would it make me feel to have $20,000? How would it make me feel to be healthy and strong? Then a feeling is going to come because you're asking. So tell, show me the feeling that's going to make me feel this way. And you're going to get that feeling. And then when you get that feeling, you lock on and say, okay, this is the feeling that I'm going to focus on that's going to put me on the frequency. The subconscious works through repetition. Repetition is what puts you on a frequency. Once you get on a frequency, you can stay on that frequency. Because now it becomes a new map of reality in your subconscious. When your subconscious sees it, it, re it remembers it and says, okay, this is a new command, this is a new frequency. I will stay here and I'll bring more of this into our world or into your life. See how it works? So that's what I want to cover with you for you guys today. Alright guys? So now you see how it works. Also guys, remember now, you can go ahead and sign up for my one-on-one -on -one mentoring program. So if you want to take it to the next level and you want to learn a systematic way for me to help you, get, get with my one-on-one -on -one program. I'll put the link below. You can sign up for my coaching program so it can help you to change, get everything you want, systematic format. But now you have a preview to do it. And I will see you guys again next time.